Our visuals, purely illustrative, crafted from stock footage to spark your imagination. The stories, utterly real, bringing you facts with a dash of positivity. Let's dive in. Welcome to Radiant Reports, your beacon of positivity and innovation in news. Today, we're journeying from the depths of Finland's innovative energy storage solutions to the cosmic celebrations of Pi Day with NASA. We'll stroll through the vibrant St. Patrick's Day parades across the U.S., dive into Canada's commitment to protecting its coral reefs, marvel at Banksy's latest environmental statement in London, and be inspired by the digital generations charged towards a greener future. Lastly, we'll explore groundbreaking research promising to rejuvenate our immune systems. Each story today is a testament to the incredible strides we're making towards a brighter, more sustainable tomorrow. Let's dive in and discover how these developments are shaping our world for the better. In the tranquil expanse of Finland, a transformative tale is unfolding deep within the earth at the Pihasalmi mine. Once bustling with zinc and copper extraction, this site is embarking on an extraordinary journey, morphing into a pioneering gravity battery. This innovation is setting a precedent, spotlighting how legacy industrial frameworks can spearhead the renewable energy frontier. About 450 kilometers from Helsinki, the Pihasalmi mine, known for its profound depths, is being reimagined. Its new role? A state-of-the-art gravity battery designed to harness excess renewable energy. During times of surplus, like windy or sunny periods, this system employs the mine's 1,400-meter shafts to elevate weights. These weights are then released in demand times, generating electricity as they descend, seamlessly integrating up to 2 megawatts of power into the local grid. Yet, the gravity battery's impact transcends energy storage. The project heralds a new dawn for the local community, which faced uncertainties with the mine's closure in August 2022. This initiative not only introduces green jobs but also marks the birth of a technological hub, promising a brighter future through initiatives like solar farms, tech startups, and an underground 5G network. This visionary project is more than a technological marvel, it's a narrative of rebirth and resilience. It stands as proof that with innovation, commitment, and a sense of community, we can repurpose our industrial past into a sustainable and flourishing future. It challenges us to seek solutions in unexpected places, transforming our legacy into our legacy for tomorrow. As this story unfolds, it serves as an inspiration, urging us to look beneath the surface for answers to today's environmental challenges. It's a beacon of hope, demonstrating how creativity and collaboration can pave the way toward a sustainable, empowered future for our planet and its inhabitants. In a dynamic fusion of youth, creativity, and digital influence, Young content creators are revolutionizing the climate dialogue across social media platforms. Leveraging the power of visual storytelling and data-driven content, these visionary individuals are not just disseminating information, they are fostering a global community united by a commitment to environmental sustainability. Peak Action, in collaboration with the Center for Climate, Health, and the Global Environment at Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, Harvard Chan Sea Change, has spotlighted a cadre of climate creators to watch in 2024. These creators, celebrated for their innovative and hopeful climate news, are making strides in engaging diverse audiences and inspiring tangible actions against climate change. Their efforts are a testament to the potential of solutions-oriented storytelling and catalyzing positive change amidst the critical conversations of an election year, where climate change is a pivotal issue. From TikTok to YouTube, these creators are utilizing their platforms to address a gamut of issues, from the health impacts of fossil fuels to the intricate ties between climate change and social justice. They stand at the forefront of a cultural shift, encouraging a collective awakening to the environmental crises that beset our planet. Among them, creators like Jessica Kleckska, Simon Clark, and Jocelyn Longdon are using humor, science communication, and environmental education to enhance climate literacy and advocate for collective action. The World Economic Forum echoes this sentiment, highlighting the influential role of youth in driving effective climate action through a myriad of channels including climate strikes, public demonstrations, and engaging digital content. 
This emerging wave of social media activism is further amplified by platforms like Reader's Digest, which showcases activists employing social media to shed light on environmental issues and simple, actionable solutions to live sustainably. Echoing the diversity of this movement, ENE News profiles a range of creators from various backgrounds, each bringing unique perspectives to the climate conversation. From promoting green jobs and intersectional environmentalism to demystifying climate science with engaging content, these influencers are redefining what it means to be an environmental activist in the digital age. As highlighted by Connect4 Climate, young leaders are not only vocal advocates but also proactive agents of change, initiating global movements, participating in UN youth advisory groups, and inspiring action through personal stories and innovative campaigns. This burgeoning movement underscores a pivotal shift towards a more informed, engaged, and hopeful global citizenry, ready to face the challenges of climate change with resolve and optimism. Through their creative endeavors, young content creators are not just setting the standard for climate content, they are shaping the future of environmental advocacy. In an urban corner of London's Finsbury Park, a fresh mural by the enigmatic street artist Banksy has emerged, commanding attention and stirring the public's conscience towards the pressing issue of environmental degradation. This artwork, unveiled near a real cherry tree pruned back to its bare limbs, showcases a stenciled figure employing a pressure hose to spray vibrant green paint across a blank wall, symbolizing the tree's lost foliage. The poignant scene serves as a stark commentary on deforestation and the broader environmental crises facing our planet. The mural's emergence quickly became a focal point for community and global conversations about the fragility of our natural world and the urgent need for conservation efforts. Unfortunately, the mural's message was momentarily overshadowed by an act of vandalism that saw it defaced with white paint, despite protective measures taken following its unveiling. The local authority revealed that the cherry tree, now a central element of Banksy's piece, had been in decline, afflicted by fungi, which adds a layer of poignancy to the artwork's environmental message. Banksy's latest intervention in the urban landscape has been met with admiration and reflection, including from Jeremy Corbyn, the long-serving MP for Islington North, who expressed delight at the mural's capacity to provoke thought about our shared environmental responsibilities. As Banksy's works continue to fetch astronomical sums at auctions, their value transcends the financial, embodying critical narratives that challenge viewers to reconsider their relationship with the environment and the collective impact of human activities on the Earth's ecosystems. This new mural, both in its creation and subsequent defacement, encapsulates the ongoing struggle between preserving our natural heritage and the forces that seek to undermine such efforts, making it a powerful symbol of resilience in the face of environmental adversity. In an unprecedented move towards marine conservation, Canada has unveiled a groundbreaking initiative to protect the country's only known live coral reef, located off the Pacific coast of British Columbia. This initiative, driven by the collaborative efforts of Fisheries and Oceans Canada, the Kitasu Zizes, and Haltsuk First Nations, marks a significant stride in the conservation of marine biodiversity. The discovery of the Lophelia Coral Reef, nestled in the Finlayson Channel about 500 kilometers northwest of Vancouver, was nothing short of serendipitous. Following a tip from local First Nations about a bump on the sea floor, deep-sea ecologist Sheris Dupreez embarked on an exploratory mission with a remote-controlled submersible. What they uncovered was a vibrant, thriving ecosystem, flourishing against all odds in the cold waters of the Pacific. This reef, adorned with vivid hues of pink, purple, and yellow, supports a bustling community of marine life, including eels, octopuses, and rockfish, alongside schools of fish that dance above its coral structures. Recognizing the ecological significance and vulnerability of this unique habitat, the Canadian government took decisive action by indefinitely closing the area over the coral reef to all commercial and recreational bottom contact fisheries. This protective measure is aimed at preserving the reef's pristine condition, safeguarding it from potential damages caused by fishing gear. The Lophelia Reef, renowned for being the most northern coral reef in the entire Pacific Ocean, represents a critical sanctuary for marine species, serving as a nursery ground and providing essential shelter and food resources. This conservation effort exemplifies a model of successful collaboration between indigenous nations and the federal government, melding traditional knowledge with scientific research. 
It also aligns with Canada's commitment to sustainable ocean management, underscoring the urgent need for the fishing industry to adopt more sustainable practices. By protecting the Lophelia Reef, Canada is sending a clear message about the importance of marine ecosystems and the collective responsibility to ensure their preservation for future generations. The initiative is a testament to Canada's dedication to marine conservation and the critical role of collaborative efforts in safeguarding the planet's precious oceanic life. It highlights the necessity of adopting sustainable practices to protect unique marine ecosystems like the Lophelia Reef, ensuring they remain vibrant and life-sustaining havens of biodiversity. Delving into the vast expanse of the universe, NASA's celebration of Pi Day brings to light a fascinating intersection of mathematics and cosmic exploration. On this day, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory JPL, unveils the annual NASA Pi Day Challenge, an enthralling set of math problems that draw upon the real-world science and engineering aspects of the agency's missions. This initiative underscores a compelling narrative, the infinite digits of Pi, a mathematical constant celebrated for its endless sequence, have profound applications in understanding the cosmos, yet the practical application of Pi in cosmic scale calculations requires only a small selection of its infinite series. The Pi Day Challenge is designed not just as an academic exercise but as a gateway to the practicalities of space exploration and science. By engaging with problems based on actual NASA missions, participants are invited to apply Pi in scenarios that range from planetary orbits to the dynamics of distant galaxies, illustrating the utility of mathematics in deciphering the universe. It's a testament to the notion that even within the boundless digits of Pi, a finite slice is sufficient to unlock mysteries on a cosmic scale. NASA's approach, leveraging just a small number of Pi's digits, emphasizes efficiency and precision in its exploration endeavors. This pragmatic use of Pi highlights the balance between the theoretical infinity of mathematics and its practical application in space science and engineering. As we celebrate Pi Day with NASA, we're reminded of the beauty and utility of mathematics as a tool to explore the unknown. It's a day that celebrates not just a number, but the endless possibilities it represents in our quest to understand the universe and our place within it. For more on how NASA uses Pi in real-world applications, explore the NASA Pi Day Challenge on NASA's website and learn about the fascinating ways Pi contributes to our understanding of the universe. In a groundbreaking study, Scientists have unveiled a transformative approach to combating immunosenescence, the decline of immune function with age, using antibodies that target blood stem cells. This novel strategy, demonstrated in mice, has shown promise in rejuvenating immune responses, potentially opening avenues for new treatments across a spectrum of immune-related diseases. At the heart of this research is the discovery that targeting specific stem cells within the blood can reset the immune system's capacity to fight infections and respond to immunizations more effectively, much like it does in younger organisms. The antibodies selectively deplete of stem cells, paving the way for a rebalanced production of blood cells and, subsequently, a revitalized immune system. This study not only signifies a leap forward in our understanding of how the immune system ages but also highlights the potential for such interventions to counteract the effects of aging on immune function. By addressing the root causes of immune decline, this approach offers hope for enhancing the quality of life and health span of older adults, reducing their vulnerability to infectious diseases, and possibly even extending the efficacy of vaccinations. The implications of this research extend beyond merely slowing down the effects of aging. It suggests a paradigm shift in how we might treat a myriad of conditions associated with immune system dysfunction, from chronic infections to autoimmune disorders. Moreover, the technique's basis in targeting stem cells opens a new chapter in personalized medicine, where treatments could be tailored to the unique cellular compositions of individuals' immune systems. As this research progresses, it will be crucial to translate these findings from mice to humans, a challenging yet vital step towards clinical application. The path from laboratory to bedside involves rigorous testing for safety and efficacy, but the potential rewards for public health and individual well-being are immense. In summary, this pioneering study not only broadens our scientific horizons but also offers tangible hope for millions worldwide. It stands as a testament to the power of innovative research in unlocking the secrets of aging and harnessing them for the betterment of human health. Across the United States, vibrant St. Patrick's Day parades sweep through the streets of major cities, 
painting towns green with a rich display of Irish heritage. From the dying of the Chicago River to the historic processions in Boston and New York, these celebrations draw spectators by the thousands, each festivity echoing the deep Irish roots woven into the fabric of America. Cleveland celebrated its 175th St. Patrick's Day Parade, showcasing everything from music and floats to dancing and bands, reflecting on Ireland, one island one nation, as this year's theme. Not far behind, Kansas City marked 50 cheers to 50 years, with its parade, and Holyoke, despite its small size, attracted up to 400,000 spectators, underlining the area's rich Irish heritage with its grand parade and a preceding 10K road race. Boston's parade, deeply entrenched in Irish culture, boasted over a million attendees, depending on the weather, making it one of the oldest and most revered celebrations in the country. The NYC St. Patrick's Day Parade, on the other hand, is a grand showcase of Irish heritage, drawing thousands of participants and spectators to enjoy a diverse array of cultural groups and marching bands. St. Patrick's Day is more than just parades and green beer, it's a day when the Irish-American community bonds over shared heritage, music, and dance. Cities like Butte and Sacramento host large celebrations, with parades featuring Irish and Highland dances and brass bands. Chicago's river turning green is a spectacle in itself, attracting around 400,000 people each year. St. Patrick's Day, falling on March 17, is not a public holiday in the U.S., but is observed widely across the nation, with celebrations that concentrate on Irish-themed parties, drinks, and food. Large street parades are commonplace in cities with a significant Irish-American population, including New York, Boston, Chicago, and many more. In a different vein of cultural celebration, the Irish president has been known for his compassion and support towards global peace and safety. This includes acknowledging the struggles of the Palestinian people and advocating for their right to peace and safety. It's a reminder of the broader Irish commitment to justice and human rights, transcending national celebrations to global solidarity. These St. Patrick's Day celebrations and the Irish President's compassionate stance offer a glimpse into the profound ways in which Irish culture and empathy resonate around the globe, promoting a message of unity, peace, and the joyous celebration of heritage. And that wraps up today's episode of Radiant Reports. From Finland's transformative use of a disused mine for renewable energy, to the celebration of mathematical wonders with NASA's Pi Day, the cultural richness of St. Patrick's Day parades, Canada's proactive coral reef protection, Banksy's powerful environmental art, the impactful voice of young climate activists, to the promising advancements in age-related disease management. Each story has shown us the power of innovation, culture, and community in driving positive change. We hope you leave today's episode feeling inspired and optimistic about the future. If you've enjoyed our journey through these uplifting stories, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Your engagement helps spread positivity further and wider. We'd love to hear your thoughts, insights, or any good news stories you've come across or would like us to cover. Comment below, share your perspectives, and let's continue to celebrate the good in the world together. Remember, every small step towards a better future is a victory. Look after yourselves, keep seeking out the positive, and join us next time on Radiant Reports for more stories that inspire and uplift. Stay positive, stay inspired, stay radiant.